If you want to send or receive international transfers, but you struggle with high PayPal fees and slow bank transfers, there's an easier, cheaper, and faster way, which is called WISE. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create a WISE account so that you can start receiving international payments immediately. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Marshall, and I help people to earn income online. And one of the most popular videos that I've posted on this channel is showing people how to create PayPal accounts. Now, PayPal is not the only way that you can receive international payments. In fact, WISE, which is formerly known as TransferWISE, is another popular platform. That actually gives you lower transfer fees, makes the whole transfer process simple and gives you more options than PayPal. So if you're a freelancer, a side hustler or an entrepreneur or basically anyone trying to make transactions internationally, WISE is a tool that you need to know about. And I just want to show you how you can get registered as soon as today. So I'm going to put a link in the description of this video for you to be able to sign up for your WISE account. Please click on that link. It's going to bring you to the website and it's going to look like something like this. And as you can see, this is the WISE website with the logo up there. And then immediately right here, it's asking me to put my email address so that I can then register. But before we actually do that, you notice here it says, here's your free transfer for up to 500 British pounds. Now, by you using the link in the description, you are going to be able to transfer up to 500 pounds for free. Please note that every single time you make a transfer or a transaction on WISE, they're actually going to charge you a small percentage. And that's what happens on all platforms. But then in this case, for simply using the link below, you're going to get 500 um, transfers for up to 500 bucks for just for free. So that's just another reason why you should actually use that link. But also take note that it also helps to support the channel at no expense or cost to you uh, as, as well. So what you're going to do is that you're going to simply put your email address right here. And also, just in case this page looks different, if you are signing up on this page in the future, the process is still going to be the same. Look for the option for you to register and then just simply enter your email address and register. So I'm going to put my email address right now. And then I clicked on the button to get my gift. And then immediately it's going to ask me, do I want to create a personal account or it's going to be a business account? Now, this is up to you. I would recommend that if you're just trying to do transactions for yourself, sign up as a personal account. But if you're a business, you can register as a business account. And please note that later on, if you do want to upgrade to a business account, you will be able to do that. So for right now, I'm just going to say personal account. And then it's going to ask me which country or region are you living in? And this is important to note because let's just say, for example, you are born in Botswana, but then you are currently living in a country like Zambia. Don't put the country of your origin, but put the country where you live in because they're going to ask you for a proof of address. So in this case, I'm just going to change this and say South Africa and then click on continue. And then it's going to give me a couple of options that I can do with WISE. Firstly, I can send money abroad. I can hold and convert money. I can receive money, but I won't be able to get a card which allows me to spend abroad and I would be able to earn a return. These are options that are reserved or are more available for people who live in countries like in the US or in the UK. Then I'll just click on continue. And then it's going to ask me to verify my phone number with the code. So I'm just going to put my phone number here. After I verified my phone number, the next is going to ask me to create a password. So I'm just going to create a password and then click on continue. Then on the next page, it's going to ask you for a couple of details about yourself, starting with the country of residence. Then you're going to put your full name, your date of birth, and then your phone number again. But note, in some cases, your phone number is going to be automatically populated. The next is going to ask you to enter your address. So you can just type in your address here. Then next, you'll see this page here where it says, what would you like to do first? Do you want to send money or hold or receive money? or just take a look around. I would invite you to just click here where it says, just take a look around first. Then as you can see, this survey pops up. You can fulfill the survey if you want, but I'm just gonna click X right now. But as you can see right now, our account is almost complete. We can actually start using it. But another thing that we also need to do is just go to your email address and you will see that you received an email from WISE and it's asking you to actually confirm your email. Just click on that link just to confirm your email and to verify your account. Now to your left, you're going to get all these different options that you can use. For example, there's cards. And like I mentioned in South Africa, there are no cards that are currently available, but you will see the transactions that you'll be doing on your account. Payments made, scheduled, direct debits, recurring card payments, payment requests, um, bill splits, all these, you don't need to really use them right now. You only use them as you are transacting on the account. And then there's going to be recipients showing you all the people that you would have sent or received money from. And then lastly, insights. Insights will just be a basic overview of the different transactions that you have been doing. But when I come back to home, if you click on this first option to add a currency to your account, this is where you can start receiving money from abroad. All you have to do is just click here where it says, let's go. 
And then I'm just going to add, for example, the British pound. And then I'll click on confirm. Next, it says ready to get paid faster. You're all set and ready for others on WISE to find and pay you instantly using your WISE tag email or phone number. I'm just going to click here where it says yes, confirm. And as you can see here, now I can actually start receiving British pounds. And if I want people to pay the British pounds straight into my British bank account, all I have to do is click here where it says get account details. As you can see, this next page it says get account details for your British pound. But before you do that, there are two things that you need to do. Number one, you need to deposit 300 rands. And as you can see, it says you only need to do this for your first set of details and you'll be able to use this money later. Then number two, you then need to verify your identity. So to do these processes, you just simply need to click here. It says get account details. And then it's going to walk you through the verification process. So just simply follow these steps. But now I'm just going to click on X here for now to take you back to the main page. And then if I come back to home, as you can see, British pound is there and I can start transacting with it, but I just need to make sure that I completed that verification process. If I want to add another currency like US dollars, I just need to click here where it says plus and then it says open. Then I just add a currency and then I'm going to type and say um, US. There's a US dollar there and then I click on confirm and then I go through the process again. Now, this is an account that I just created just for demonstration purposes. So that's why no transactions are occurring here. But then if I show you my actual account that I use on a daily basis, as you can see, I've got multiple currencies that I'm receiving payments from here. And as you can see, these are some of the transactions that have been going on in my account. Like if I click on see all here, you'll be able to see lots of different transactions that are going on right here because I use this account almost on a daily basis. Plus there's my photo up there at the top and then the name of my business. Now to receive money from anyone, let's say that maybe someone wants to pay me some money in US dollars. I'm just going to click on my US dollar account like this. And then as you can see, there's this option that says get paid. I can click on that. And then it says create an invoice or I can share a payment link. I'll click on payment link for now. Then I just need to write how much I'm getting, I'm getting from that person. Like for example, I may be getting $500 and then I can describe and say maybe um, website because I build websites for people. And then I can choose whether I want this to be multiple payments or just one payment. And then it asks me payment methods. Is it bank transfer or one more? If I click on that. You'll see it's going to be them paying directly into my WISE account if they also have a WISE account or it's going to be a bank transfer. Whatever I choose here, in this case, it's going to be bank transfer. I click on save. Then when that's done, I just click on create. And then I just copy this link that you are seeing right here. I can click on copy. Then I can just share that link with them either on email or WhatsApp or social media. And it's going to look something like this. Now, the reason why it's writing this is because I'm trying to send money to myself. So it's not going to work. But you see this option here at the bottom where it says bank transfer. I'm going to click on bank transfer. And then here is going to put all my details of my account that is created for me. But because I'm but I'm blurring them out right now for privacy reasons. But those are the details that someone will be able to use. And you notice that it says local at the top here. Local meaning that if they're in America, they can actually pay as an, a local person in America into your local America bank account. But then if they're outside of America, and let's say maybe they're in the UK, but then they need to pay into your American bank account, this is where they need to pay. So those details are given to them automatically. And then if you want to withdraw your money from your WISE account and put it into your local bank account, in my case, I live in South Africa. So I'm just going to click here and say send. And then it's going to ask me where exactly do I want to send the money to. As you can see here, it's identifying that I've got an FNB account. That's one of the banks that we use in South Africa. But then in your case, you're going to click here where it says add recipient. And then you're going to choose the currency that you want to send to. For example, I'll click and say South African rent. And then next, I'm going to click here where it says bank details. And then I just simply follow the instructions and the prompts. Like, for example, is this my business? Is someone else's? Is this a business or charity? But in your case, you might see different options, especially if it's a personal account. In my case, this is a business account. But let's just say that I click on someone else. It's then going to ask me for their email address, their full name, date of birth, bank name, SWIFT code, account number, and then I click on continue. You then follow the steps and the prompts, whatever it asks you next, and then you'll be able to make your payment. But as you can see here at the top, these are the steps. Once you put the recipient, it's going to ask you for the amount, and then it's going to do a quick review and then you're going to get paid out normally within one to three business days. Some cases, it's actually a whole lot faster. So yeah, there you have it. Those are the basic steps for you creating your own WISE account. Let me know in the comment section if you've got any questions or anything that you want me to clarify on.
you found value in this video, please show your support just by hitting the like button and make sure that you're a subscriber so that I can show you more websites and more tools that you can use to grow your income online. Once again, if you want to sign up for WISE, make sure that you use the link in the description of this video. And also, if you're interested in another way that you can also receive online payments, one great tool that you can use is PayPal. And you can watch this video next, which will show you step by step how you can create your own PayPal account so that you can start receiving US dollar payments immediately.